May the grace and love of God be with us today and always. Welcome to Faith Journey. As we gather here tonight, I invite each of you to settle in, open your hearts, and prepare to receive the message that will be shared. I'm here too, praying and reflecting with you. Tonight, we focus our attention on those of you who struggle to find rest at night. We will engage in a powerful midnight prayer specifically for those dealing with insomnia. May everyone listening find comfort, sleep peacefully, and be fully prepared to face the challenges of a new day with renewed spirit and strength. On our spiritual journey, there are times when our souls yearn for a word that invigorates our spirit and rekindles our faith. Psalm 103 is precisely that word. When we allow ourselves to dive deeply into its message, it's as if we're submerging in fresh and invigorating waters. In this verse, we discover an inexhaustible source of hope, one that never dries up, no matter how arid the deserts we cross. Beyond hope, it's a vivid and constant reminder of God's renewing love for us, a love that does not fade, that does not fail, and that envelops us even in the most difficult times. Reflecting on Psalm 103, we are re-energized, reminded that God's love is a force that propels us forward, renewing us every day. Amen. Psalm 103 conveys a very powerful message. Let's pray together. As we continue our time of prayer and reflection, I invite each of you to share your prayer requests or the names of loved ones in the comments. Together, we will lift each name up to the Lord in our prayers and present them all to God. And if this content touches your heart, please leave your like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We are growing as a big prayer family here at Faith Journey. God bless you abundantly. Now I would like to invite Elias to share with us the inspiring words of Psalm 103. Elias, would you lead us in this sacred reading? Absolutely, Lucas. I invite each one of our listeners to join me in this prayerful reading. Pray along with me, whether by repeating the words out loud or silently in your heart, as we claim all the promises contained in this powerful psalm. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Wow, how comforting it is to hear this prayer, how it touches our hearts. I always get emotional and very happy when I read this prayer. 
It is a power that emanates from God and strengthens us and gives us hope in this early morning. I encourage each of you to take a moment of your day to connect with the beauty of God's creation. Find a park, a garden, or simply look out your window. While you're there, reflect on the words of Psalm 103. See how the beauty of nature proclaims the glory of God. The trees, the birds, the very air around us, each speaks of His mercy and greatness. Let this environment be a natural cathedral offering praise to the Creator. I want to propose a small challenge for each of you. If you listen to this prayer from Psalm 103 for seven days, it will be magnificent. Remember, seven is God's number. It's the number of perfection. Immerse yourself in these holy words consistently for a week and observe the spiritual transformation that unfolds in your life. I have a direction for you, my beloved listeners. Each night before you lay down to sleep, listen to this prayer from Psalm 103. Do this every day throughout the week. It will truly be a blessing in your life. As you end each day with these sacred words, let them guide your thoughts to peace and your spirit to renewal. I urge you, do not keep this prayer to yourself. Send it to your family and friends. How many right now are in need of the blessings contained in Psalm 103? For every 10 people you share this prayer with, you can be sure that at least one of them will be touched and will convert to the Word of God. The others, they will have blessings poured out upon them and their lives will be transformed. Let us spread the grace and wisdom found in the words of the Lord. As we conclude, I bless you with the peace and grace of our Lord. For those of you facing restless nights, be it from insomnia or the need to work or study, I pray that God grants you a tranquil night filled with restful sleep. And for those who are keeping a prayer vigil, know that your dedication is seen and will be rewarded. God bless you abundantly. And before we part, dear listeners of Faith Journey, I remind you to subscribe so you don't miss any of our nightly prayers. May the peace of the Lord accompany you. God bless you abundantly, and until our next prayer, keep your faith strong.